afternoon, everyone. My name is Song Patel, and I'm presenting my thesis research project, Empowering Our Communities, What Determines Municipal Renewable Energy Development. This research, like many others who are presented today, was completed on Treaty 6 land, the traditional and present territory of Indigenous and Métis people, and is informed by my responsibilities as a treaty person. I'd like to start by asking, have, have any of you ever thought about where exactly the energy you use comes from? and what kinds of impacts creating this energy has on the people and places where it's generated. If you haven't, you're not alone. Alberta has an energy system that disconnects physically and psychologically our places of energy generation and consumption, creating issues of injustice where some communities are impacted by energy infrastructure that powers distant populations across the province, while profits could go to a company that can be headquartered across an ocean. Alberta's energy system also accounts for the second largest source of carbon emissions in the province, contributing to the climate crisis. Developing more renewable energy would allow us to reduce carbon emissions, but development is slow, with renewable capacity anticipated to remain below 30% by 2030. One of the barriers to renewable development is opposition by local people, who can be concerned about potential visual, ecosystem, and economic impacts. This opposition can lead to renewable projects being canceled and the election of governments that do not support renewable energy development. But what if we could develop renewable energy projects that reduce these injustices? This is the promise of community energy, a development type where the local population has an influential voice in and receives the benefits of energy projects that locate near them. And one type of community that can develop these kinds of projects are municipalities or local governments. They can engage their local populations and project revenues would fund local services or reduce tax burdens. Municipalities have the advantages of existing tools and practices to make decisions and have access to funding that could be used for renewable development. And yet, despite this potential, municipal renewable projects are few and far between. This begs the question at the heart of my research. What is motivating Albertan municipalities to develop local renewable energy projects and how can these projects best be supported? To answer this question, I developed a mixed methods approach. First, I surveyed municipal decision makers, including council members and administrative employees from all across the province. The results show that nearly half of the respondents are interested in developing these kinds of projects, with larger municipalities and those with greater capital availability being statistically more likely to pursue development. I built on the survey results with an in-depth case study of renewable energy plans and policies here in Edmonton a municipality that plans to develop several renewable projects. I interviewed many key decision makers, including those involved in energy planning and elected members of council, as well as, as, well as energy experts and external stakeholders. What the results show is that municipalities are mainly motivated by economic benefits and carbon reduction, while social benefits and developing resilience were considered secondary. Interestingly, economic motivations were ranked the highest in the survey but the case study participants were actually more likely to be motivated by carbon reduction. However, environmental benefits are often framed using economic terms, demonstrating an intersection of these two dimensions. Municipalities are challenged by the low cost of electricity in Alberta and the insecurity of carbon taxes, which impact the economic value of renewable projects. Municipal energy projects are a steep upfront cost, and many decision makers reported being unable to make that initial investment even if they think it'll pay off in the future. While provincial and other external supports can reduce these barriers, municipal decision makers found these lacking and difficult to access. We also see that municipal decision makers are concerned about the risk of these projects, opting to choose proven technologies and project types. And despite the strong culture of fossil fuel support and challenges with climate science denial, municipal decision makers do believe it is possible to achieve community support by engaging the community, respecting local values, and presenting economic benefits, demonstrating the potential of community energy to mitigate the social opposition. The results also show that municipalities are interested in creating renewable projects on their own property to offset their own energy consumption. While there was some interest in providing power to their constituents at a utility scale, additional barriers and expertise and regulations challenge this role. Municipalities are also very interested in potential partnerships that can reduce the cost and expertise barriers to development. 
municipal energy could play a transformational role in decarbonizing Alberta's energy sector. To develop supports for these kinds of projects, we need to understand why municipal decision makers are or are not interested in developing renewable projects. And by supporting municipal energy projects, we can develop renewable energy that doesn't just power our communities, but also empowers them. Thank you for your time and attention. For more information about our project, please see our research page.